Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, January 27th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I am in Beaufort, North Carolina, speaking on my book, and it is a beautiful sight from my hotel room this morning. The sun is just beginning to rise over in the distance over here. As you can see, we're on this harbor, this inlet. In fact, the inn is called Inlet Inn. That is just beautiful. We continue this morning in Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter three. Paul is trying to describe to the church in Galatia why the law was given to them if they're not ultimately judged by the law, because he's trying to clarify to them that they can never earn salvation, but they're saved through their belief in Jesus. Why then did the law come, Paul asks? It came as a measuring tool to show us how we fall short, how we sin. It seems a little bit cruel, doesn't it, that God would give us this measuring stick, but at the same time, we need to understand the paradox, which is the juxtaposition between the fact that we're beloved and we also fail. We need to understand the fact that we are not God, that we're limited creatures who can't always do what's right, even when we desire to but who need God's help and God's grace. The law shows us how we are human, how we fall short, how we can never get it quite right. And in doing so, it fills us with grace and with a gift. Humility is a gift. It's not about not liking yourself. It's not about berating yourself or criticizing yourself. Humility is the acknowledgement of the fact that we're good at certain things, but not good at others, that we're limited, that we can't control everything or fix everything or accomplish everything. Humility comes from the word humus, which comes from the word earth. We're made of the earth. We're temporal creatures, limited, beautiful, like the creation, but we can't be God and we can't control everything or fix everything or accomplish everything. So the law is a gift because it shows us who we are, beloved, but not omnipotent. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the beauty of this day. We thank you for the gift of your creation and the mystery of life. Here come some runners. We ask, Lord, that you would bless the sick today, that you would bless the dying, the hungry, those who are in pain, those who mourn. We ask that you would bless the addicted, the incarcerated, and those who struggle with mental illness. Give us grace to do your work today, Lord, to do what it is you call us to do. Not everything but what we have been given today. Grant us your peace. Grant us the ability to forgive others for their limitations. Grant us wisdom. Grant us the ability to cherish this beautiful planet and to awaken to our use of its resources. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loves us despite our failings and loves us still. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.